is real, it's the next episode. Hey, welcome back. I missed you guys. It's been a couple of weeks, I know. Um, I've just been busy with work life. What can I say? There has been a progression on the um, the grid concept that I've been working on. It's just basically I have to wait for parts to come in and I order them from eBay and they take weeks to come in and it's just uh, frustrating. I have mostly time in the evening where I can come in and uh, spend a couple of hours and that time is spent modifying the design, printing them out and doing concepts. So I'm just going to give you a sneak peek so don't get too excited. This is where I am. With the uh, with the design, it's not a Pokemon. I just wanted to to show the model with varying colors, so you can see the different parts. And yes, it does open up, and there is an 8650 in there as well. And this is a reduced size model of what I'm proposing as the final as the final concept. Um, and also waiting on Chris Bird. I'm not going to push him too much because he's obviously busy himself as well. So we're all got lives, we all got family, we all got work to do, and it's just uh, annoying. But anyway. The whole point of this video is because I want to share something really exciting with you guys. There is a group of engineers in Lexington in Kentucky in the US and they are called Lexalon and they're producing a, an exciting project called The Bat Lab. And I would encourage you to go and check out their Kickstarter campaign. They've only got six days left and they're so close to their goal of seven and a half thousand dollars. They're at six thousand seven hundred and it would be so cool if my audience went in there and made may then reach their target. So as you know, at Nerdville, I originally came up with this idea about producing an 18650 recovery machine. So what we're doing is we're trying to take off the shelf components like the TP4056 and using this with um, load resistors to create uh, capacity results as well as uh, impedance of the batteries using varying resistors to, to achieve those uh, results. If we can have that connected to, to a spreadsheet that would make that data much more usable. And the BATLAB is the complete laboratory solution for battery testing. It will test all the things that we've talked about but it does it in a very integrated and neat solution and I think these guys are amazing. It's exactly what I would love to have done if I was involved in this project. So it's another take on what we're doing, but these guys have got a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, they seem to have the time and the expertise to do this. So it would be just absolutely cool if you guys can go and check it out and you guys can actually help these guys to get to their goal that they've, they've set, the $7,500. Listen, even if you don't, just share this message along among other people that you that may be interested and link into their their Kickstarter campaign and anything that we can do as a Nerdville community to help this cause would just be absolutely awesome. So hey, thank you. I know it's a short one, but at the end of the day, I wanted to share this Kickstarter campaign with you guys because I found it to be very interesting and there is a backlog of videos that I need to share with you guys. So stay tuned and keep your eyes open. Thanks again.